Hello, Whitehorse. It's good to be here. We've traveled a very long way, and it was worth the trip. The whole way it was worth the trip, and this is just icing on the top. Thank you very much. Ice. Icing. <laughs> icing on the top. We'll put candles on it in just a minute. <clears throat> uh, before I even get started, how many people have already seen uh, a video that I did or have been to the web page? How many people have seen the video? Okay, about, about uh, one quarter of you. And how many people here have studied anything about the Mayan calendar? About a third, okay. That gives me an idea of who I'm talking to and uh, what I'm gonna have to say. And it, we're gonna go through some very, very basic information about the Mayan calendar. Probably much different than you thought you would hear. We're gonna be covering some very new ideas. And that's the whole reason for you being here. I want to make sure, like Madeline, my partner, said, if at any time during this talk, oh, and come on in. <laughs> if at any time, oh, you too, come on in. <laughs> We've got some more people showing up. If at any time something isn't really clear, raise your hand. Because this is not a lecture. This is a conversation. This is a two-way street here. Okay? To make sure that you are imparted this information and that you understand it. It's your job to make sure that I'm doing that. Okay? All right. So what are we going to be talking about tonight? We are going to be talking about consciousness. Consciousness and calendars. What is consciousness? There sure has been a lot of people who have studied it, huh? Probably most of you have studied consciousness for a while, or you wouldn't be interested in new things like this. So. Many people come up with a different definition for consciousness in their studies. And it's really useful for us all to have an agreement when we get started here of what consciousness is. And one that I found works really well, and I'll just throw it out as an idea, is that consciousness is the awareness of being aware. Whenever you've noticed yourself noticing something, you have been experiencing your own consciousness. Most of the time we just go about using it, you know, avoiding other cars on the road, uh, you know, <clears throat> actually opening the screen door rather than walking into it, that kind of thing. That's using your consciousness. But when you notice yourself noticing something, you are experiencing your consciousness. Does that make sense? That fits? Okay. All right, consciousness then would be the awareness of being aware. And then calendars. What is a calendar? This is stuff that you didn't get talked about in school very much. But a calendar is the absolute dead center of any civilization. It is the pinpoint center of any civilization. It's calendar. Why? Because absolutely everything in that civilization revolves around its calendar. Due dates, bill dates, when you're supposed to be at work, when you're supposed to go into grammar school, when you're supposed to graduate, how old you are. <laughs> All of those things are relative to the calendar, including the evaluation of your performance. How many widgets 
can you produce by Wednesday? That's how valuable you are. It's all related to the calendar. A calendar is a, an agreement of a society or a civilization of what day it is or what time it is. And that is the absolute dead center of any civilization's consciousness. Your consciousness of what has come before or what will come in the future is all related to our calendar. Can you see how pivotal that is? In fact, it's a funny thing about consciousness. Consciousness always, always has a location. It looks sort of like this. Here's a, a pinpoint here. More like a target that represents your consciousness. Your consciousness is oriented by two considerations. A consideration is a decision on how things are. Okay? These considerations, one of them is time and the other is place. Time and place is the orientation of your consciousness. It's actually working right here and right now. Some time ago, you had the consideration that you would be at this talk. And ever since, you have been handling things that came up and your own considerations to where you would, that you would be in this place. This time and this place. It's been that way throughout your whole life. Time and place, time and place, time and place. So here you are, in this time and place. Welcome. As a matter of fact, you've probably noticed that different places have a different orientation to their consciousness. How many people have been to Vancouver? Okay, does Vancouver have a different consciousness than Whitehorse? Yes. And when you were in school, you studied about different times, didn't you? And somebody in the 15th century, for instance, would have a different consciousness than you would, wouldn't they? There are things that wouldn't quite fit in their consciousness that you are using every single day. And there are certain things that they had to do every single day, like carrying water, for instance, comfortably in your consciousness. They wouldn't. Wouldn't. So different times have a different orientation of consciousness, as well as different places. <clears throat> but this orientation, this time and place, what this is, this operation, is it's actually establishing a thing called your viewpoint. Your viewpoint. This is your point from which you view the universe. 